How's it going, guys? Past level question, general urinary step one, IMFM, surge TCK. 74-year-old man with BPH, we're handing you the diagnosis, benign pathogenic hyperplasia, and he's got a super pubic mass here. It's a distended bladder, serum creatinine 1.6. He has post-renal azotemia from obstruction. Question one, someone's most likely seen his patient. Should I say to choose striper activity, wrong fucking answer. It's very buzzy for urge incontinence, okay? Now, you could say, well, isn't he going to have compensatory increased activation of the detrusor muscle initially in the setting of any type of incontinence, uh, that could be potentially uh, a point of reasoning, but we've got better answers here. And I should just note that detrusor hyperactivity, when you see that on the NBME exam, it's quite synonymous with urge incontinence. Okay, so they'll tell you like perimenopausal woman, woman who's had a UTI, uh, multiple sclerosis, okay? They're the ones who have urge incontinence and they have to choose hyperactivity as the answer and you treat that with oxybutynin. Wrong fucking answer. Choice B, fractional excretion of sodium under 1%, wrong fucking answer. First to pre-renal azotemia. Okay, clearly this is post-renal. So, I mean, I've made some recent clips on this. Some of you guys have been struggling with this stuff. So if you have pre-renal azotemia, uh, NSAID use, diuretic use, chronic congestive heart failure, diarrhea, vomiting over many days, for instance, you're going to have fractional excretion of sodium under 1% B when a cranine ratio greater than 20. If you're intra or post renal, so this guy's clearly post renal, we would know it, it would be the opposite. You have FENA greater than 1%, you have a B when a cranine ratio under 20. Choice B, wrong fucking answer. Should I see increased serum bicarbonate around fucking answer? So in the setting of renal insufficiency, creatinine is not egregious, 0 0.7 to 1.2. It's elevated, sure. But if we were to gestate what the bicarbonate could be in the setting, well, renal insufficiency will give you decreased serum bicarbonate. It's one of the mud piles, isn't it? Uremia. Okay, this, guy, this dude clearly doesn't have uremia. Uremia means the clinical syndrome of renal failure. So... You can have a decreased serum bicarbonate. You're never going to have increased bicarbonate. You're never going to have a metabolic alkalosis with renal insufficiency. Wrong fucking answer. Choice D, normal anion gap. Metabolic acidosis. Wrong fucking answer, as I just harped on. If anything, in the setting of renal insufficiency slash uremia, we're going to have a decreased serum bicarbonate. And because it's mud piles, we have increased anion gap. Okay, that's where you take the patient's bicarbonate and chloride, you add them together, you take that number, subtract it from sodium, and if it's 13 or greater, that's an increased anion gap. 8 to 12 is normal. Choice D, wrong fucking answer. Choice D, overflow incontinence, correct answer. Now, this patient clearly has a super pubic mass. This is urinary retention here. Okay, they like to do this. So... You can initially have some, as we uh, discussed with choice A, some students get emotional right now. In theory, maybe you could have some compensatory increased contraction of the detrusor in the very beginning, but you have to choose the best answer on the USMLA, okay? He clearly has overflow incontinence, which is high yield in the setting of BPH, okay? So increased serum creatinine is super pubic mass. For, uh, you're going to get burnout of the detrusor muscle. That's what happens. Okay, so you have a hypo contractile bladder here. Now, 2CK, step three stuff. The first step in management for this patient would be insertion of a catheter. Okay, you're going to relieve the overflow incontinence. And then you can treat the actual BPH. Okay, if you're going to give an alpha 1 antagonist, tamsulose and terazosin, you can have, give uh, finasteride, okay, 5 alpha reductase inhibitor. But in terms of choosing the best answer here, you need to know that overflow incontinence is associated with BPH. Correct answer. You know the deal when you make more content, like my stuff, channel. Appreciate your time. That's it.